So what is your criteria, in other words, in the sales process or in the process of acquiring um, this property or getting it under contract or whatever, what has to happen for it to now trigger and say, okay, we need our home inspector to go look at this house. We actually do that on every single deal, Jay. Whether the numbers look like they make sense or not. Well, we have the, the acquisitions team has a built in what we call range calculator into our system. Mm -hmm. So all we do is they go in, they get a lead comes in, they pull up the valuation. So I'm talking to say you're the seller on the phone. I'm talking to you right now. I'm pulling up evaluations and then all they do is plug in the number into our deal uh, range calculator. And then it spits out a range. And as long as that deal falls in with that range, they have a green light to lock it up. And then my COO never looks at anything until it's under contract. And then if she approves it, then it goes to the next step in the production line and an inspection is dispatched out. And those inspections, Jay, typically our average we pay on those are $75. Okay. Well, you read my mind. I was going to, I was going to ask what is the, uh, how much are you paying the home inspectors to do this, this report? My guess is they're probably not there at the, at the property uh, or the house more than 30 minutes, probably less than that. Right. Yeah. Typically it's total time in and out is typically about 40 minutes. Yeah. Because I was going to say it's, it's pretty easy to determine once your home inspector uh, understands what you're looking for, it's pretty, uh, pretty quick to assess. Okay. Does it need a roof? Does it need a HVAC? Exactly. Does it need flooring? Does it need interior paint? Does it need exterior paint? Right? Yep. Absolutely. And then what happens Jay is once that comes back in, basically, that lead or that now that's a deal, it comes back in after an inspection and then it's notified to my transaction coordinating. And then what Ashley does with the team is she does two or three deal reviews a week and whatever's setting in uh, the pipeline, she does a review and each deal is reviewed within about 15 minutes. Then, it, then if it's okay, then it's pushed out to our buyers. That's awesome. Uh, let's see here. Dan asked a question that I think you just sort of answered. Uh, and his question is, Jerry, are you using the same specifications with your inspector that he or she would have using with mortgage companies? And you just answered that where you really have a different report that they fill out. Yep. We keep it yep. real simple on things. And it's not going to take nearly as long for them to uh, fill that report out. <laughs> And Jay, this works, you know, I always tell people too, it doesn't really matter if you're buying to hold, if you're buying to fix and flip. The, the initial part of the process is all the same. Mm -hmm. Just what your exit strategy on the other end is your, is your decision. So. Exactly. Exactly.